Hello. Well, winter is subsiding and the longer days of light are approaching. But just for the sake of the southern hemisphere, and to remind them of what to look forward to, here's 20 questions on darkness. Question 1. Which day of creation included God making night separate from day? Was it the first day, second day, third day, or fourth day? And that was the first day. You'll find it in Genesis 1, verse 5. Question 2. What sin did Paul tell the Thessalonians was likely to happen at night? Was it drunkenness, adultery, murder, or theft? And that's drunkenness in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Question 3. Where did Mary Magdalene go on the first day of the week while it was still dark? Did she go to the synagogue, Peter's house, Jesus' tomb, or the Sea of Galilee shore? And she went to Jesus' tomb in John chapter 20. Question 4. For how many days did darkness cover the land of Egypt during the plagues? Was it just one day, two days, three days, or four days? And that was for three days in Exodus chapter 10. Question 5. Who did God come to in a dream at night, telling him not to say anything to Jacob, good or bad? Was that Joseph, Laban, Moses, or Esau? And God came to Laban in Genesis chapter 31. Question 6. Which prophet disturbed by King Saul's disobedience cried all night to the Lord? Was it Yehu, Elijah, Samuel, or Nathan? And that was Samuel in 1 Samuel chapter 15. Question 7. David and Abishai crept into Saul's tent at night and took a spear and what other item from beside his head? Was it a water jug, a cloak, a silver plate, or an oil lamp? And they took the water jug in 1 Samuel chapter 26. Question 8. According to Ecclesiastes, the wise man has eyes in his head, but who walks in darkness? Is it the virtuous woman, the wicked, an unbeliever, or a fool? And Ecclesiastes chapter 2 says that is a fool. Question 9. Who did Samuel run to at night, thinking he had called him? Was it Eli, David, Jesse, or Abraham? And Samuel ran to Eli in 1 Samuel chapter 3. Question 10. Which Pharisee came to Jesus late at night? Was that Saul, Nicodemus, Gamaliel, or Cornelius? That was Nicodemus in John chapter 3. Question 11. Which tribe of Israel would be dark with wine and teeth white from milk? Was that Gad, Benjamin? Reuben or Judah? And that was Judah. You'll find the reference in Genesis chapter 49. Question 12. What guided Israel by night during their time in the wilderness? Was it a glowing sword, a moon, a pillar of fire, or an angel of the Lord?
And that was a pillar of fire in Exodus chapter 13. Question 13. What proportion of the sun, moons and stars was darkened by the fourth angel sounding the trumpet in Revelation? Was it a quarter, a third, a half or two thirds? That was a third in Revelation chapter 8. Question 14. On which night of the storm did the sailors try to escape in the ship's boat from the ship that Paul was soon to be shipwrecked in? Was it the first night, the third night, the fourteenth night, or the seventh night? That was the fourteenth night of the storm in Acts chapter 27. Question 15. Who became blind when Paul visited him at Paphos because of his attempt to turn the ruler, Sergius Paulus, away from the word of God? Was that Agabus, Elimas, Herod or Simeon? And that was Elimas who became blind in Acts chapter 13. Question 16. When God sends the darkness of night, what prowl around according to Psalm 104? Is it the thieves, wolves, evil spirits, or forest animals? And prowling around are the forest animals. Question 17. At the crucifixion of Jesus, for how long was there darkness over the land? Was it an hour, three hours, six hours, or 24 hours? And there was darkness for three hours in Luke chapter 23. Question 18. Who asked for all the dark colored sheep from Laban's flock as payment for service to him? Is that Esau, Joseph, Abraham, or Jacob? And that was Jacob's little trick in Genesis chapter 30. Question 19. Who died the same night he saw the writing on the wall? Was that Belshazzar, Artaxerxes, Nebuchadnezzar, or Darius? And that was Belshazzar. You'll find him in Daniel chapter 5. And question 20. At the opening of the third seal in Revelation, what was the rider of the black horse holding in his hand? Was it a shield, a scroll, a pair of scales, or a scarlet thread? He was holding a pair of scales. You'll find that in Revelation chapter 6. So, does your knowledge shine bright in the darkness? Well, the darker the night, the brighter the light shines. So hold on tight to the truth that you know. And I'll be with you again soon. Until next time, goodbye and God bless.